Hey guys, Lisa here with ILKB. Thanks so much for joining me for today's 15 minute upper body workout. Let's not waste any time today. Let's jump right in and start it out with that jog in three, two, and one. Jog it out, jog it out. So when we go through these workouts, we're in them for about 20 seconds whenever we're doing our 15 minute workouts together. So I want your transitions to be really quick. We don't want to waste any time. And when you guys are going from exercise to exercise, you guys should be blasting them out, giving them your best. Again, we're only in them for about 20 seconds. Let's do some high knees in three, two, and one. High knees, get them up, get them up. Now while you guys are doing these high knees, I'm gonna save us some time here, and I'm gonna demonstrate the next exercise. We're gonna do side to side push-ups. So from your push-up position, you're going to move your right arm and your right leg out, push up, Come back and move your left arm and left leg. And you're just gonna go side to side like this and give me that push up. All right, in three, two, and one, side to side push ups. So again, from that push up position, you're gonna take both your limbs on your right side, your arm and your leg, step it out, give me that push up, come back, and then walk out the left side. And go side to side. Keep moving. We're gonna drop down for no hand push ups in three. Two, and one, no hand push-ups. Keep going, blast that push-up. When you pull those arms in, explosive push-up there. We're gonna switch these to shoulder taps. In three, two, and one, shoulder taps, tap it out. So from here, tap, 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 tap. Make sure your body isn't swaying, keep your core tight and keep your quads tight. That will help stabilize your body so that the only thing moving is your arms. <sighs> Couple seconds. And then we're gonna go into that elbow plank in three, two, and one. Elbow plank right here. Again, when you're doing this exercise, look at your fists or look forward. Your back should be level. If I go and look at my toes, look what's what happens. Oh, back to the air. So look at your fists or look forward. And breathe, keep your core tight. Again, your core, and your quads are gonna stabilize you. So from here, we're going into some seal ups in three, two, and one. Drop your body down, hands to the side. So as you're doing these, your elbows are gonna face directly behind you. You guys are probably on your palms. I just use my knuckles because that's my preference. But here, push up through your palms and feel the squeeze in that tricep. Your tricep is right back here. So as you pulse, pulse nice and quick, you guys will feel that back there. We got some walking push-ups in three, two, and one. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Alternate those sides. Don't keep going down on that right side or going down on the left. Make sure you alternate, work them evenly. <sighs> Again, keeping that core nice and tight, keeping that body stabilized. You don't want your body all over the place. Toy soldier push-ups in three, two, and one. Reach out, push up, reach out. These resemble, or should resemble, your partner push-ups, right? You give that push-up and you high-five, and you push up and you high-five. So toy soldier push-ups are when you're by yourself. You don't have anybody to give that high-five to. You can still do them. Bring it up to your feet. We're going to shadow box in three, two, and one. Jab, cross, non-stop. You guys keep going. I'm going to demonstrate the next exercise. It's a walkout push-up. Keep those legs about shoulder width apart, keep them locked, drop down, walk out, push up, walk it back, and repeat in four, three, two, and one. Right into it, right into those uh, walking out push ups. Now, when you do this again, keep those legs locked, shoulder width apart. You guys are keeping your feet here, you're gonna notice it's gonna be hard and awkward, you're not gonna be able to keep your legs straight, get them shoulder width apart. All right, we're gonna do some flyaway push-ups to the right side. In four, three, two, and one. So from your plank position, give me a push-up and raise that right arm. Give me a push-up and raise that right arm. So we're doing flyaway push-ups on one side only here, and that's that right side. So going from that push-up to that side plank. Push-up and side plank. Make sure you complete the side plank before you go into that push-up. We're gonna work the left side in three, two, and one. So give me that push up and left side plank. 
push up, left side plank. Now don't come this far and then go right back to your push up. Get that arm up, stack those hips, and then come back down. Finish that side plank and then come back down for that push up. Keep going. We got a couple seconds, we're back up to that jog. In three, two, and one. Jog it out, jog it out. Nice job. So for our flyaway push-ups today, we're gonna to be working sides. We're gonna work the right side, and then the left side. And high knees, get them up, get them up. Try and get them up past your waistline. What does that mean? Here's your waistline. There's your knee. Look, it's past your waistline. That's what you want to do. Get them up. So you don't want to be here. That's a jog. Get them up. We got another set of those side-to-side -side push-ups in three, two, and one. Again, walk it out, push up. Together, walk it out, push up. Side to side, side to side. And again, what's happening is you have a little bit of a plank in between each one of those push-ups, which makes this a little more difficult. And you're working out the muscles a little bit difficult, a little bit differently, I should say. All right, here we go. No hand push-ups. Drop down, punch out, push up. Drop down, punch out, push up. You want to get as many as you can in with these no hand push-ups. Move quick. You have that second at the bottom where you're dropping down to punch out and then push up so that you don't constantly have tension on those muscles. So I expect when you go from no tension, you pull those arms in, explode that push-up, and then start again. Shoulder taps in three, two, and one. Tap it out. Tap, 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 tap. Only thing that should be moving here are those arms. Okay, hips should be facing the mat or the ground. So again, tap and tap. You don't want to be here doing this. So widen those feet if that's what's happening. And try balancing yourself and stabilizing yourself like that. And drop down for that elbow plank. Just be active rest. Don't want you to do anything, but keep that core tight. Keep that back level and look forward or look at your fists. Remember, if you go to look at your toes from underneath, your back is automatically going to arch. We're gonna isolate the tricep again with those seal ups in three, two, and one. So put your palm flat and push up through the heel of your hand. This is kind of like a cobra stretch where you don't wanna pick your hips up. You wanna keep your hips on the ground and you just wanna pulse and feel it in the back of those triceps. The quicker you move, the more you're gonna feel it. We got those walking push-ups, down, down, up, up, in three, two, and one. Here we go, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. This is another exercise where you wanna stabilize. So if you notice that you're all over the place and your body's turning and you're using your body like this, separate your feet, drop down, down, up, up. Everything should face the mat. Toy soldier push-ups, right now, let's get them going. Reach out, push up, reach out, push up. Again, your toy soldier push-up resembles that high five push-up you would do with a partner. This is a partnerless push-up where you can still get the same motion. So you can do them at home. You never have to be like, oh, I don't have a partner for these. Who needs a partner to do toy soldier push-ups? All right, back up to your feet, jab, cross, shadow box. Three, two, and one. Just go one, two. So don't go nonstop, just go one, two. Whenever you guys go one, two, as opposed to nonstop, I expect you to use more muscle and I expect you to throw harder punches. Harder punches. And we're gonna do walkout push ups next. Get ready. Three, two, and one. Lock those legs. Drop down. Walk it out. Push up. Come back. Squeeze those glutes. Walk it out. Push up. Walk it back. Squeeze those glutes. Again, make sure you're squeezing those glutes at the top. And again, don't bend your legs, keep them locked. All right, we're going to that right side flyaway push up in three, two, and one. So push up, and then the right arm goes up. Push up, right arm goes up. Remember, complete the side plank. Don't give me a push up like this. Turn your whole body, stack those hips, and get that arm all the way up. We're gonna work the left side in three, two, and one. So push up, now raising your left arm up to the sky. 
Now, if you guys are having difficulty with these, you guys can do these on your knees. You guys can give me that push up and you can still raise your arm and turn your body to the side and still stack those hips. So don't think because you're not on your toes that you can't do this. You can. And bring it up for that jog. Let's go. Bring it up for that jog. Remember, no matter what we do, there's always a modification. There's a will, there's a way. Always. So you just got to find out what that, modification, that, what that modification is specifically for you. And then you do that every time and work your way up so you can modify less and less. High knees, get them up right away. And if you guys are in class, because everybody will eventually get back to class, will be on those bags. If you guys have questions about modifications, don't be afraid to ask the instructors. That's what they're there for. They're there to help you. Five seconds, we're going to do those side to side push ups. And drop down. Here we go. Again, give me that push up on the side. So here, side to side. Try and speed it up a little bit if you can. All right, here we go. No hand push ups. Three, two, and one. No hand push ups. So you're dropping your body down for a split second just to punch out and then push up. We don't want to do them like this. Okay, that's a rest. We don't rest. Do them quick. You should only be there for one to two seconds before you pop that push up up. I'm not there to see you, but trust me, I know some of you guys are trying it. Don't do it. Elbow plank, let's go. Remember, you guys always get out what you put in. We are only here for 15 minutes. You guys can do this. Everyone can do it. And you modify so it works for you if you have to. Hold that elbow plank. Hold it, hold it. We're gonna isolate that tricep again in a couple seconds with those seal ups. Remember, keep those hips on the ground. Your elbows are gonna face directly behind you. I'm gonna demonstrate and you guys are gonna join me. My elbows are facing directly behind me, pulsing it out in three, two, and one. Let's go. Now I'm gonna face the camera because I wanna show you guys. If your elbows are out here like this, you're not doing it correctly. Those elbows should be facing directly behind you. They should be pressed up against your body. You should be feeling them against your body as you guys are pulsing at the bottom there. Give them that little push up. Walking push ups in three, two, and one. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Like those shoulder taps. If you find you're all over the place trying to get yourself up, don't use your body in that way. This is an upper body exercise. The only thing that your stomach is gonna do, your core is stabilized. Separate those feet so you can drop down, down, up, up. Again, keep that core tight. Toy soldier push-ups, three, two, one, let's go. Toy soldier push-ups. Remember, reach out, push up, out. If you're on your knees, that's all right. Again, this can be modified for that as well. Just make sure as you're doing these, you're not here. Bring your body forward. Give me that push-up and reach out. Push up. You want to think about your stomach hitting the ground first. All right, if you guys are in that neck up position, that's going to be impossible. So. Bring that body forward and then give me that push up. Get ready, we're bringing up to our feet. We're gonna shadow box, jab, cross, non stop. Three, two, and one. So this time we're gonna go non stop. We are almost, almost at the end. A couple more things to do, and then we are done. We got another set of those walkout push ups in three. Come on, keep going. Two, and one, let's go. Separate those feet, drop down, walk out, push up, and then come back and give that little thrust forward, squeeze those glutes. Keep the legs locked, keep them shoulder width apart. Exhale every time you're pushing up. Fly away push-ups, right side only in three, two, and one. Drop it down to that plank, give me that push up. Remember, it's that right arm that's going up. Make sure that you're finishing that side plank and then going into that push up again. You're on your knees, that's okay. Four, three, two, and left side now. So if you're on your knees, give me that push up and then turn your whole body to the side. You want one knee on the other, keeping those hips stacked. Come back, give me a push up and then turn. To ensure you guys are doing this correctly when you're on your knees, I want to make sure that your stomach is hitting the ground 
and then you're pushing up. If your stomach isn't making contact, then you're probably in this motion. All right, ready? We're gonna plank it out in three, two, and one. Just plank, just hold, just hold. Now you guys can do this on your palms, that's usually the preferred way. I prefer to be on my knuckles. Same exercise, no difference. I'm just gonna hold, just hold. This is the last thing, I'm gonna turn myself around here. I'm gonna stay with you guys. This is the last thing we're gonna do. All I ask is you guys stay up, don't break the plank. Keep your core tight. Breathe, don't look at your toes, don't look at them, put your mind somewhere else. Just think, this is the last thing we're gonna do. And then we are done. Hold this plank. I'm gonna count you down for the last 10 seconds. We're gonna do it together. So hold that plank. Keep that core tight. Breathe. Here we go, last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, woof. Shake it out, smack those shoulders, get the blood flowing, and clap it up for yourselves. Great job today, guys. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys for the next workout.